What's up, YouTube? Okay, so I've been hearing a lot about Comet Elnin and how it's going to crash into the world and how it's going to cause some sort of cataclysmic event and we're all going to die and it's going to be like deep impact reenacted. So I thought I'd look into it myself and see how credible it actually is. And it's quite interesting. But the theory is that whenever Comet Elnin, the Earth and the Sun align, with the gravitational pull, we have some sort of has some sort of effect on Earth, it causes earthquakes and all our natural disasters here. So, me being the way I am, I need to see things for myself because I just don't believe anything in general. So, um, here we have the JPL. The link will be in the bottom. You'll be able to go and check this out yourself. So. Go to February 27th, 2010. About some time ago. Here we line up there's the sun, there's the earth, and there's a comet element. If it is a comet, it could be a dwarf star. Or... But yeah, so here's the alignment. And on February 27th, 2010, we had Chile earthquake, which was an 8 point given. This is quite interesting. So. We go on to another significant date we have and it's September fourth. Skip that. September fourth. Okay. On September fourth. And our alignment, we have Elnin, Earth, I'm just zooming in right now. We have Earth, Sun, and Elnin. Make another alignment. And bear in mind that this JPL, uh, it isn't the most accurate. It's almost an estimation, and it does change quite regularly, but it's, it's quite reliable, I'd say. On that date, we had Christchurch earthquake, which is a 7.1. So, as I said, the theory is it causes gravitational pull, which then results in us having earthquakes. So, if we skip forward to a more recent event, which was March 4th, 2000, March, yeah, March 4th, 11th, 2011. Here we have Elnin, Earth, Sun. Yeah, it's not exact, but we can skip on further. 12, 13. But yeah, on March 11th, if you can remember, we had the earthquake and tsunami in Japan, which was a 9.0. Just go. Okay, so theory holds some weight, but. How much I don't know. You decide yourself. So we'll skip forward to more upcoming events. One which is just a week away. Um, September 24th. Okay. On September 24th, we have this. Alignment with Earth, Elnin, and Sun. That may not be exactly accurate, but as I said before, it is an estimation. Um, 24th, 25th, perhaps, if something may happen on that date. So it's worth a watch. But this time round, as opposed to the last three earthquakes, this one is a lot closer. Um, this is 0.404 astronomical units, which is the distance between. Elnin and Earth. So if we go to October, sometime in October, and see, you can see Elnin pass through Earth's orbit on yeah, the 19th, 20th. It's the first time when it passes Earth's orbit. So it's another significant time to watch out for if anything does happen. And if Elnin does have a trail of debris behind it, we may have been seeing the force of that on. November 6th, 7th? Perhaps. Maybe. Maybe not. Okay, so if 
skip the trailer. Put it on to I think it's November 23rd. Let's check here. On November 23rd, we have, a, according to JPL, we have a perfect alignment. And this time around, it's a hell of a lot closer than it was with the last three earthquakes, the one in Chile, New Zealand, and Japan. This time around, it's a lot closer. So, could be a significant date, could be absolute bullshit, but I guess we'll have to wait and see. So, another thing I came across is this asteroid known as YU55. Um, here we see Earth, and there's the asteroid there. And here we are on September 6, 2011, but just watch Earth and the asteroid here. If you come into pretty close contact with it on around it's closest, yep, it's closest distance to Earth is on September 23rd. And there's a perfect alignment with the Sun again. So maybe perhaps another significant date? I don't know. But some recent activity been going on, and I don't know whether you heard, but we had this, check out this guy's channel, it's HMU4C. Um, he captured the meteorite, which was seen in California, Nevada, Arizona. A lot of people reporting it on YouTube at the moment, so you can check that out, just watch here. It's quite interesting because NASA never announced anything beforehand. Normally they give a heads up if there was something significant like this, but this time around they failed to mention anything about it, so I thought that was quite interesting. Um, so maybe it's worth watching, maybe it's a whole bunch of shit, we don't know, but anyway, look for yourself, the links will be in the bottom.